Hi, my name is Gina and I work with the Mount St. Helens Institute. I'm here to give a quick tutorial on some elements of our sediment on the move storyline curriculum. There are different elements that we incorporate into this curriculum and these elements are consistent throughout all of the student materials. I'm going to highlight certain features that students will see throughout all of the materials that guide them through this curriculum. Here's an overview of the color coding and icon scheme that we will use throughout the storyline. First, each slide will include a narrative prompt at the top in larger text that will give some context for what the purpose of the slide is. Secondly, there will be instructions for students in blue. We use blue text to write specific instructions where we're asking students to do something. But in this case, it's moving arrows around on the slide to draw connections between different elements on the slide. We have throughout the student packs a writing prompt, which is highlighted with the blue pencil icon and a space, a white text box for students to write in those fields and the prompts for those are in black or gray text. We also have throughout the story packs a discussion prompt and these are in orange or gray text boxes where they're asking students to think about certain ideas and to share their uh, reflections and analysis with other students, with family members, with friends, with their teacher. And we have a series of color-coded icons throughout the story pack. So this icon, the question mark in pink, highlights those opportunities for discussion where the blue icon with a pencil highlights opportunities for writing. On the different slides, we are asking students to engage with the content and to fill in different fields. Here's another example. Again, we start with the title, out, title outline, which asks students what we want them to do. Our specific instructions are here in blue. There's a part of the slide that's interactive where students can upload a photograph or add in text. There are tips for working with the different features of Google products so students can draw shapes using the different draw tools, for example, or embed arrows, circle, and highlight different text. And we have on the slides are made to be interactive, so by clicking different parts of the slides will take you to different slides. So it's not necessarily a linear flow, but it should be clear to students when they click where they will get to. So in this case, they can view more media, click to go back to their notebook or return to writing their newsletter article. Finally, all of the slides have credit for all of the images and other material that's used in the slide notes section. You can view the slide notes section by looking at the slides in that edit view. You can't see the slide notes when you're viewing the slides in the present view. A couple of other elements of the student experience that I want to highlight through these slides. You can see that we work to make the slides engaging. So there are times where we're asking students to copy and drag elements or symbols and paste them onto the photograph to highlight what they are observing. We bring in maps and other real world uh, data sets for students to work with, which model the way that scientists work with data in the real world. And most of the slides, if not all of the slides, contain spaces for students to reflect on what they're learning at each step of the way, and these can be used as formative assessment tools.